Dear Salome, dear friends, I am very glad to address the esteemed participants and I wish you a fruitful exchange on the most crucial topic of these days. The ongoing war in Ukraine, after the unprovoked Russian invasion, has dragged Europe and the world into an unprecedented situation that is putting peace and the security framework in Europe at risk. Greece and the European Union have since the day one condemned unequivocally this invasion and have urged for a diplomatic solution. They have adopted a clear stance in favour of respect for international law, the territorial integrity and national sovereignty of Ukraine. The need for a ceasefire is pressing for saving lives and subsequently for preventing further waves of migrants and material distractions that have already rendered whole cities and areas uninhabitable. Against the backdrop of this highly complicated situation, we, women leaders, are asking ourselves today how we can contribute to tackling this spider's web of crisis. Women caught up in conflicts, women fighters and victims, women war correspondents, women refugees are the most vulnerable targets. It is therefore our duty to put as much effort as possible in alleviating women of this burden, ensuring humanitarian assistance and protection, psychological help and support in every way we can. For it will be the same women who will be called to rebuild their country after the war. Dear friends, women leaders around the world have already gone a significant distance rising to positions of authority, power and responsibility. We now need to bring on board the empathy and emotional intelligence that will make a tangible difference in exercising power. Let us all give our best in this effort.